Hi, so um, we are in Acadia National Park. Um, it's about a five hour drive north of Boston in Maine. Um, the reason we're here actually is because I'm working in Boston at the moment. Um, I'm having a couple of months um, working down there. Um, so Hannah's popped out to visit me for a few days and we thought we'd pop up here. Um, it's quite accessible from Boston. Um, and I was actually here in the spring, so first week it opened back in April. Um, I came up here with a work colleague. Um, we managed to get a few photos, but the weather was absolutely terrible. Um, so we've lucked out this time. Um, mm. it's, it's, it's so much better. We've got clear Beautiful. skies. Um, we're looking forward to getting a decent sunset fairly soon, actually, so we're going to have to get a move on. Um, and also it's looking good for tomorrow morning as well. Um, so it's mainly going to be about taking some shots of the autumn colours. Um, we're right in the middle of fall at the moment, so um, all the trees are, are just looking beautiful. Um, so we'll see what we get. We've got a couple of, couple of days here, um, and hopefully we'll get some good photos whilst we're here. Well, we're here at um, it's a, a lake called Jordan Pond, um, and uh, we've probably just missed the best of the light. We did try to get up from Boston as quickly as we could, um, but uh, it's still still beautiful. So, um, what I've done, um, you'll, you'll actually see I'm standing on rocks in the middle of the water, um, trying not to get too wet. Sorry? Not wearing waterproof boots. Yeah, not wearing waterproof boots. Um, but composition wise um, what I really like about this spot is we've got these stones out in the water which is why I'm st stood like a melon out here um, trying not to get wet um, but one of, the, one of the key sort of rules of composition is, is um, if you have things in threes it normally works really well what's that? oh it's a little it's like a little tiny little squirrel but it's making me fall over just over there that's cool. A Little school having a drink. <laughs> um, yeah, so working to that sort of idea of having sort of three uh, rules of three, um, what I've got is I've got these three stones sat in the water, um, which I think works really nicely. Uh, we've got a couple of plane trails in the sky, which is a bit annoying, but um, I think the co composition works really, works really well. Um, and I've gone for a portrait shot. And because the, the light sort of come off the mountain, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a bracketed exposure this time. So we'll have um, a one stop either side and, and have three exposures, which will then blend in Photoshop. I've also got a polarizer on there and I've also gone for a four stop ND um, just to increase the exposure. So we've got ISO 100, um, I've got an aperture of 13. Yeah, so at the moment with both the four stop and the polarizer, we've got an exposure of one second, 1.3 seconds. Um, so when I'm bracketing that one stop, it goes up to uh, two and a half seconds for the brighter exposure and goes down to 0.6 seconds for the lower exposure. We've got manual, um, manual setting for, for setting the exposure two-second delay, um, so we'll take three exposures, uh, blend those in Photoshop, and it should come out um, quite nicely. So I'll go ahead and take those shots now. So we've got first shot. And then, yeah, that's actually looking quite underexposed. Um, I do a darker exposure. And then we'll do the brighter exposure. That's yep, that's looking good. Oh, <laughs> Careful. <laughs> totally gonna fall over.
So it's day two at Arcadia National Park for us. Um, we woke up nice and early and have come to the coast for dawn, um, as have many, many other photographers. Um, so Sam's right down on the waterfront. He's one of those photographers down there. Um, and ah, I'm just leaving him to it, so I thought I'd come up here and, and tell you what's going on. Um, so there's a big bank of cloud actually on the horizon, um, which is obscuring the dawn. So, um, not the most perfect dawn in the world, but there are nice fluffy clouds in the sky that are catching the, the oranges and the pinks, which is very pleasing to the eye. Um, I believe Sam is focusing on the curve of the bay and using that as a leading line for his shot. Um, and I think he was using the turnstock filter. I'm sure he'll tell you more about that. Um, in wildlife news, we saw a beaver last night, which was um, never seen a beaver in the wild before, so that was really cool. Um, we didn't get a brilliant shot of it, but we found a dam, we heard the gnawing noises, um, we saw a nose kind of poking out the water and then a splash. So that was worth a, a walk in the dark um, with head torches, delaying supper and alcohol. So that was cool. Um, this will be our last day at Arcadia. Um, I'm flying back to the UK tomorrow. Um, so. We will just have a morning doing whatever we like, really. Um, Acadia National Park, you have to drive around in one direction. So that will, in a way, dictate what order we do things in. Um, but we've talked about um, going up the mountain and getting some shots there. We've also talked about um, going back to where the beaver was and seeing he's around at dawn and we can actually take photos of him. That would be lovely. Um, I don't know if you just heard that, I don't know if you might come and pick that up, but that was a chipmunk. Um, I haven't yet got a photo of a chipmunk, so I might need to get one of those as well. So we're down here on um, a beach just near um, a cliff called Otter Cliff. Um, uh, lights just come up, there was a bit of bank of, bank of cloud on the horizon earlier on, um, but the clouds just lifted up from that, sorry, the sun's just lifted up from that now, so um, we're getting some really good light. Um, I've got the 10 stop on the camera, just taking a few shots with that. Exposure for 10 stop is about four minutes at the moment. It's quite busy down here, it's obviously a popular photography spot, there's lots of other photographers around. Um, but yeah, the 10 stop's coming out quite, quite well, so just to let you know why I've got a glove on the top of the, the camera. The glove is just to cover up the eyepiece. Um, there is actually an eyepiece cover on the camera, but I just find the gloves easier to use. Um, it just stops any of that extra light getting in. Um, uh, into the camera whilst you're doing exposure. So four minutes exposure with 10 stop filter. Uh, Polarizer's on there as well. Um, and yeah, the shots are turning out well. So we're back now at Jordan Pond. So this is where we were last night. Um, uh, when we got here last night, it was a little bit too dark. We just, it was just a little bit too late, um, but we got here to do much photography. But um, as you can see, it's looking great this morning. Um, the sun's up quite high now, so we don't, we're out of the golden hour. Uh, but we thought we'd pop back here. We did a walk around here in a bitch black yesterday. Um, I had my first ever attempt at doing night photography, a little bit of star photography and light painting, which was very exciting. So um, if that turns out okay, um, I'll be flashing up that photo now. Um, but yeah, it was good fun, so I'd like to do a bit more of that. Um, it's a bit windy. Um, we also saw beavers. Um, or a beaver. So that's why we're back this morning. Um, I, I think beavers are mainly nocturnal, so we probably won't see them this, this morning, but um, we thought we'd head down and just have a look and see what we can see. Um, so we're going to take a walk now around the lake. Um, colours of the trees are amazing, so if we can find any nice shots, then um, we'll see if we can get that as well.
Well, we've continued our walk around Jordan Pond. Um, we haven't gone the whole, whole way around this morning like we did last night in the dark. Um, we just did, um, went, well, we just headed up to where we saw the beaver last night, where he has his little dam. Um, as expected, we didn't see the beaver, um, unfortunately, but Hannah did manage to get some photos of a chipmunk. Um, and the trees are just beautiful, really, really nice colours. So, um, yeah, so we've, um, I did take a photo of a tree got a photo of a tree um, and um, we're heading back now um, this we've, we're at this spot here which would be really nice to be able to come here in the evening it's a shame we weren't here early enough yesterday to get this shot because I think it would be, make a really nice composition um, but um, we have to make do with, 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 with what we've got at the moment so um, I, I like this little rock down here so I've got that as my foreground interest um, again ISO 11 uh, it's one fiftieth of a second exposure. Um, I've got a polarizer on there as well, just to take the glare off the water. Um, but yeah, we'll take a shot anyway and see how it turns out. Like I said, it'd be really nice to come here when when the lights um, uh, when the lights a bit better. But the plan is, I'll just grab this shot quickly, and then uh, we need to be back at the hotel by eleven, which is fairly soon. So we're going to head back to the hotel check out. Um, and then we'll head up to Cadillac Mountain. Um, I don't know if it really classes as a mountain or not, but it's it's um, a sort of peak in the middle of the uh, middle of the park, which you can drive up. So that's the plan. We'll get some coffee first um, and head up there. And hopefully we'll we've been told you can get eagles up there, so we'll keep an eye out for those. And hopefully we'll get a few shots up there. Um, but yeah, for now it's just a case of enjoying the trees, um, enjoying the colours. Um, I'll grab this shot now. That's the wind's not too bad. Okay, uh, it looks like it's turned out quite nicely. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll get a few more pictures before we have to go back to Boston. Um, but time to get back to the hotel. Uh, to the top of Cadillac Mountain, um, which is a hill in the middle of Acadia, and uh, you can basically just drive all the way up to the top. And as you can see, um, the woods, woods, forests, trees, the trees, and as you can see, the trees are just gorgeous colours. Um, it's really busy up here. We're having to vlog with other people around, which is quite embarrassing, um, but. Um, yeah, need to get over that. Um, but I just, there's a, I really like this composition here. We've got the trees, and there's a little bit of a leading line in the rocks just heading up to the trees as well. Um, so, very simple composition. Trees sat on the lower right third of the photo. Um, wonderful colours in the woods behind. Um, and um, yeah, just a really simple exposure. Nothing fancy. Polarizer on the lens. Um, and yeah, this is a, this is a, it's quite a nice shot. Okay, so that's the end of our, our quick trip up here to Acadia National Park. Um, I think we've managed to get some good photos, so pretty pleased with how it's gone this time. So much better than last time when I came here and the weather was, was awful. Um, but if you've enjoyed the video, please click like, please subscribe, and we'll be coming up with some more videos soon. Take care, see you soon.